Hello everyone, this is HP Supercharged 96. Welcome, welcome. Alright, we're going to do some racing. And we are here at Circuit de la Sars. Yes, for you guys who know, this is the 24 hour Du Le Mans endurance race course. This is the 2020 race layout. Alright, I'm going to go for practice run. I'm um, setting up my gears see what I see how my gears are set if they if they are to my my liking let's go ahead and do this all right oh yes and I am driving the 1989 IMSA Audi all-wheel drive 90 Quattro turbo GTO man look at that that sound. All right, let's do this. Maybe do about two or three laps. Like I said, to see if the gears are to my liking. I didn't touch first, second, and third, and fourth gears. The last two gears, the five, the fifth, and sixth gears are the ones I, I adjusted, so. We'll see how it goes. This is the setup I like. The gear setup. Yeah. The first, second, and third, and fourth gears give me a good uh, passing speed, good uh, pull, and then uh, five and six gives me the long run for top speed. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I shouldn't be speaking to you right now. That's what happened to me. That's what happens when you're not focusing. Okay. Well, this is just the first lap, so we'll see what happens. I won't make that same mistake again.
think I'm liking it. I don't think I'm liking it. Passing speed right there. Great passing speed. liking this. This is the last lap. get a good top speed here. Hold the fifth a little longer. Now I'll chip the sixth gear. This is big this is the biggest gear I put in here. See how fast my top speed. Two oh four. Not bad. Not bad. I like it. I like it. Not paying attention to my driving. Okay. Also, I'm using my sequential shifter on my Fanatec Club Sport shifter. Sequential mode, pretty cool. Very quick and precision. I could also set it up for H pattern mode too, but I love the sequential mode better.
um, my new second wheel, the uh, McLaren GT3 wheel, it's pretty good. And even sportier when I put my new Corvette lively, uh, lovely sticker on it too. Yeah. I wish Fanatec made a Corvette steering wheel. Cool, man. I'd be getting that too as my third wheel. But the sticker is more than covering it. I mean, I'm sorry you're covering up the uh, McLaren GT3 logo, but I'm a Corvette guy, so. You guys enjoyed that trial run practice run so let's go and get into the racing okay I'll see you in a few minutes here's my gear settings my two new gear settings to get the top speed of 204 uh, on the normal settings on this car, it, it top speeds at 199. It redlines at 6 gear, 99, 199. But once I changed the 5th and 6th gear, it went over 200 plus. So, that's my gearing right there. Alright. Let's go ahead and race. Alright. Hello everyone, this is HP Supercharged 96. Welcome again. This is an R Factor 2 race simulator and we are at Circuit de la Sarthe. For all of you who don't know, this is the 24 hours de la Mans race endurance race course. This is the 2020 race layout. Yep. And I will be racing today. 41 drivers, that's including me. It's a one race event, single player event, and I will again back on driving the 1989 IMSA Audi 90 Quattro GTO Turbo all-wheel drive yes this is the number five sponsored by Audi Sports there is a second car which is the number four Audi Sports both cars are driven by Mr. Hurley and Johann Stuck this racing team surprised a lot of people in the SCCA and IMSA series. Yep, <laughs> really surprised. So strong. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, do this. Um, just sit back and enjoy. All right, let's let's go.
fifth and sixth gear, fifth and sixth gear really did help. Yeah, moving up moving up the pack at an ease Second place. Now 
Macau in first place. And uh, just to let you know, the AI strength is at a hundred plus percentage. Yeah, they're in full strength.
it looks pretty easy here but the force feedback I have on this steering is really strong Okay, I'm going to give you some different viewpoints.
was a 8 that was a pretty big error there I was coming in too quick so I had to do the court I had to slow down a bit anyway just not to cheat myself in the chicane there Several from behind is creeping up to me, so I gotta keep an eye. I got a feeling who it is, but I'm gonna keep watching.
Okay, pulled away more from the second place vehicle. So I gave more lead time now. Pulled away a bit. Whoa. Catching up to the lap traffic. Now, That was a silly shift. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Usually stay on fifth gear. I'm going up the hill. give you the opposite side now the upper side view <laughs> now this one's a little bit more trickier I've given the other view the other angle on the left side but this one is my third time I think it's a little bit different <laughs> see she gets but I adjust very naturally, really quick, you know. Yep. <laughs>
a shift there. Man. Trying to beat my last lap record there. But looks like I ain't going to. Yep. I lost a lot of seconds there. could tell by the green long meter on the far left side of my uh, HUD display that's how much I lost if it's full green that means it was doing good but as you can see I lost like almost three quarters so let's see if I can make it up here in this lap driving in this particular view angle and the second place car is catching up already Looks like I pulled up a bit more further now. Yeah, it looked like I lost uh, some some more seconds. I'm not doing good in this particular view angle. <laughs> Ah, a little better now. Whoa. All right, four wheel drive. All wheel drive, four wheel drive. <laughs> it's a little bit high wire there on the steering. Okay. Let's 
to see if I let me see if I can beat my top speed here. Oh, you can see my green is filled up. So that's pretty good. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. Naughty, naughty bean. Maybe I did that on purpose so I could see who was behind me. <laughs> nah, that was a silly error. I had to do a lot of compensating steering on that section. R34, I guess right. Nissan R34. All-wheel drive also. Plus it's a little bit modern, modernized compared to my eight, uh, compared to 1989. So probably has a little bit better control steering. exaggerated on the turn okay He's trying to pull away but I won't let him got bigger gears on fifth and six so Really nervous when I'm behind them. I don't know why I did that. The lap was a four zero one point zero five. He's really nervous. That's a lot of heartbreaking there. Trying to cut me.
See how much I pulled away from him already? Ah, give myself one, two, three, okay. Can't believe I did that. My fourth error. I was hoping to keep it down to three errors, but this is it. No more errors, no more errors. Looks like I might be able to beat my, my, what that was that, 351 I think, but, yeah, 351, hopefully I could beat it. Got a little squirrely there, but I'm good. Come on.
348, my god. Porsche
was a 349.84. Cheated a little bit there on those last 13. It's okay. It should look like it's a good lap. I might be able to beat my 348. We'll see.
that time I throttled a little earlier, right after the, right in the midsection of that chicane there. Could have been done a little better, but it's okay. Four and a half laps to go. Come on, I gotta beat that three forty eight there. Yes.
was a three forty nine. Man. Three nine. was a 349.59 yeah. uh. Well I was hoping to keep it at a three error driver error thing but I've got a lot here that's okay. Two and a half laps to go. And the 
second place car just gave up on me. Just kept pulling away more further and further. Alright, catching up to lap traffic this time. One of the classic Porsches right there. Looks like a BMW right in front of me. Yep. Mercedes AMG Right there I felt a lot of wheels spinning, so I sort of, I couldn't control it. Porsches.
Now that's what you call shimming the steering wheel. What it does, I do that so the front tires would be able to catch a grip, some sort of a grip, so it doesn't slide. Because if I would have just, uh, see it like that, if you just hold the steering wheel to the to a particular angle, the tires they go in an angle and they slide. So if you like shimmy it, it actually will compensate and catch some little grip. And if we're and luckily it should be able to catch the grip and you should be able to steer away. But that time I, I wasn't able to steer away in that section. It wasn't as bad, but yeah that tells you what happens if you hold the steering too much when you're trying to make a turn. You should at least try to compensate and do a little shimmy steering. Look at these guys. Okay, last and final lap. One lap to go. Okay, finally caught up with some Ferraris and another Ferrari. Whoop! Did a love tap on me. I was hoping if we could see a modern day era of Audi. The new Audi. Yes.
Nice finish. Let these guys pass me up. They gotta finish their lap since I already lapped them. stay with these guys nice looking Porsches man nice looking GT3s Oh, come on. That's how bad these IAs are. That's how bad they are. No courtesy. No courtesy. <laughs> yeah. They just keep going and going and going. They don't give you a break. That's what happens at the start of the races. When they get into an incident, they just push each other. Collide, collide each other non-stop but that's how AR that's how AIs work all right everyone 
I hope you enjoyed my 21 lap race at Chica de la Sarc. Oh, there's a second place winner who tried to keep passing me but couldn't. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed my race here at Chica de la Sarc. Uh, this is an R Factor 2 race simulator. And again, this is HP Supercharged 96. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next trial run.